Hi, this is Jason from the Children's Museum of Houston again, and I have another story to tell you today. Uh, just fair warning before we begin this, my cat is pacing around the table just like last time. He might just jump up on here and get in the way of the book. I'm thinking last time he was wandering around because he kept hearing mice, mice, mice. And now he's going to hear all about bugs, bugs, bugs. So I'm thinking he's going to be like, ooh, what's going on, you know? So if you see a big orange cat jump in front, that's Jerry, and he loves you all. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Again, we're doing story time. Uh, it's a Friday afternoon around, I don't know, 2.30 or so. And first of all, I want to thank the good people of Philip 66 uh, for their campaign, Read Strong All Year Long, that allowing me to do this from home and keeping you all entertained and happy during this uh, time we're in right now. So today I'm going to be reading The Bugliest Bug by, <coughs> excuse me, Carol Diggory Shields. Now, I have never read this book before, so this is going to be exciting for me as well, but already I can tell this is really cool with all these different bugs here. And don't be afraid of bugs. Bugs are cool. I love bugs. In fact, when I'm normally doing my job, which is like doing outreach for schools, every single year I try to give each site I go to a bug that they take care of for each year. So they get like a cockroach or a something or other. Like I think I've given a millipede before, you know, maybe crickets some year. So that's why I think bugs are cool. So that's why I'm reading this story. So let's get to it. Uh, the bugliest bug. Look, a bug. Hold on. A bug. Oh, lots of intro pages. Here we go. Do you have six legs? Do you wiggle or crawl? Could you be the bugliest bug of them all? It should be one of these. Look over here. Look at them. All these different bugs. A contest for insects. News bust through the air. Bugs saluted and swarmed from here and from there. Down by the pond, young damselfly Dilly said, I'm a plain bug, neither clever nor frilly. But while I won't win, I would like to see who the bugliest bug turns out to be. So they're going to have a contest who's the bugliest bug. Fireflies lit up the stage with their lights. Glowworms glowed softly. A beautiful sight. A lacy white curtain hung from the trees and buildings swayed in the warm evening breeze. The clearing was humming with bugs of all sizes, flutery jittery, hoping for prizes. Look at them over there, having a little talent show it looks like. There were more bugs than Dilly could ever dream, from tiny noceums to fat termite queens. Some had great pincers, some had proud horns, some looked like branches or flowers or thorns. Pincers. Dilly crept closer as the biggest judge grinned. Sweet little bugs let our contest begin. How odd, Dilly thought. Those judges have wings. Those are tied to their backs with gossamer strings. Gossamer, like something like spider webs. Click beetles clicked, click beetles clicked, and whirly gigs whirled. Crickets sang solo and swallowtails swirled. Swallowtail is like a butterfly. A ladybug curtsied, tumblebugs flipped, the judges applauded, then licked their lips. Lots of cool stuff going on in this bug land. The judges looked shifty, so Dilly kept squinting. Then sure enough, she spied their fangs glinting. She yelled, we've been flim flam, bamboozled, distracted. Those judges aren't same sex, she cried. They're arachnids, spiders, scorpions, those kind of things. And guess what they eat? Bugs. The big judge hissed softly to wait for you all. It's curtain time now and it started to fall. Folks, you continue, we liked all your acts, but we think we would like you much better as snacks. The bugs rose in fear. This looked like the end. Uh-oh, they're getting caught in the webs. But Dilly thought quickly and shouted out, Friends, there's only one way to get out of this mess. Each insect must do what each insect does best. So charge on the squadron of Swiss soldier flies and bombard your beetles took to the skies. Dilly whirled up through a hole in the net. It's working, it's working. We'll beat those creeps yet. See, they're trying to win it. Army ants marched, and the mantises prayed. Keep fighting, called Dilly, and don't be afraid. Then the stink bugs united gave off their worst smells. P.U., we give up, the spiders all yelled. Look at them, all getting ready to do their thing. 
They scuttled away. Hurrah, cried the buzz, giving high sixes and fuzzy warm hugs. The cicada piped up. It's time for a speech. Attention, my friends, he said with a screech. The contest is over and we have a winner. With this young damsel, we'd all be dinner. She might be young and she might be small, but Dilly's the buggliest bug of them all. Dilly was a quick thinker. And I guess that's the end because there's really more here. That was a fun book. Showed you a little bit about bugs, touch a little bit about their anatomy, touch a little bit about how there's so many different ones. Honestly, there's more than that. There's millions and millions and millions of types of different bugs out there. And they're all unique and cool in their own way. Well, thank you again for joining me for story time. It was a lot of fun. I hope you join us for more story times. And please go over our website and look at all the different content we have. We have science projects. We have like things you can do with your little ones. Anything you want, we got it. Come join us. Hope you have a great day. This is Jason from the Children's Museum Houston. Thanks a lot. ASD Manager. Later.